Welcome to the first video of 20. This week, NASA received a signal from its New Horizons probe that it had survived its flyby of Ultima Thule. Ultima Thule is a 10 mile long bit of ice and rock, and the most distant object ever explored in our solar system. New Horizons collected all sorts of information, including many, many photos, which we're all very excited for. However, every single calculation has to be spot on in order for the probe to be facing the right way to collect the data and take the pictures, meaning that we have to anxiously wait before we can tell for sure the data has been properly gathered. Seven days of science breaking news. There has been a development on this news story. A picture has been published that came from the New Horizons spacecraft showing Ultima Thule, and it appears that it is two objects that have fused together, making it look a bit like a snowman. While Christmas may have passed, it is still a suitably wintry image. Well, that's the end of the first seven days of science breaking news. The notification just came up as I was editing, so I thought I'd jump in with a breaking In other news, China is preparing to land a probe called Chang'e 4 on the far side of the moon, which could pave the way for future missions to bring rock and dust samples back to Earth. The probe itself contains geological testing instruments, as well as a biological experiment. It's worth mentioning that the far side of the moon is exceedingly different to the side we see, so to land on the far side is a conscious and important decision to make. And the scale of the collapse of Anak Krakatau, the Indonesian volcano that's eruptions caused a devastating tsunami last week, has become more apparent. Researchers that have been examining satellite images have calculated that the volcano lost over two-thirds of both its height and volume, which would explain the magnitude of the tsunami which was responsible for the deaths of over 400 in the Sundra Strait. The exact statistics of the collapse is still unknown, but more will be revealed when scientists visit the volcano itself to conduct more thorough research. In addition, conservationists have warned that if a similar event were to happen again, it is likely that the remaining 67 Javan rhinos still alive would be killed, driving their species to extinction. And in other news, it's not looking good for much of Asia, as collapsing glaciers threaten some of the most important rivers in the continent, rivers which nearly a fifth of the planet's population depends on. For around 50 years, glaciers in the Tibetan Plateau and the Himalayas have been shrinking, and many have been calling for this to be more closely monitored to better understand the effect this is having, and could have on the people who rely on these rivers. Well, it seems as though everyone's on holiday, because that's all the news for this week. It's actually kind of weird and eerie. Anyway, I hope you all had a wonderful start to the year, and we are looking forward to the year ahead. If you haven't already and feel like we deserve it, feel free to subscribe to learn more about the wonderful life around you. Enjoy your week and we'll see you on Sunday.